Good morning. So today what we're looking at the um, direction, we're looking at rounding whole numbers again and the directions up top say, fill in the missing place value names on the place value chart. Use the chart to answer the rounding questions. So here, let's go ahead and fill this out. We've got ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, Ten thousands, hundred thousands, and then one million, okay? So, right down here, this says, round each number to the nearest thousand. So, if you look on the left-hand side over here, you can see that we have steps. And we're going to follow these steps, and it's going to help us answer each and every one of these questions. So, um, I'm looking on the left-hand side. We round numbers to find friendly numbers and to estimate. Um, example, they give an example, but anyway, our number is 845,167. But now we want to go back over here. What we're doing is we're just going to use the left-hand side, this side over here. We're just going to use it for the steps to help us to know which one to do. So it says round each number to the nearest thousand. So right here, I see my thousands. All right. Well, it says to underline, so we're going to underline. I just always circle, but it doesn't matter which one you do. So, we're rounding to the nearest thousands. So, over here it says, underline the digit that you're rounding to. Step two, find your boss. That's the number in the place value to the right. So, this is our boss. Okay, so I'm going to write this number up here. This is 23,982. <clears throat> so, the three is in the thousands place, so I gotta look to the number to the right. That's my boss. Look at step three on the left-hand side. Ask yourself, is my boss five or more, or four or less? Well, this, this nine is five or more, right? So, if it's five or more, step three on this side, add one more to the digit that you are rounding. So, this three becomes a four, all right? And then all numbers, oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. If it's four or less, let it rest and leave the digit that you are rounding to the same. So step four, keep the digits before the rounded digit the same. So everything before the rounded digit is the same. So the two would be the same. And then the four, we have to go up because the nine was bossy and said, get on up. All right, so now I add three zeros, so 24,000 is my answer. <clears throat> now, I wanna erase this top part up here because we're gonna use it again. Okay, all right, now, our next number. 1,234,320. All right, now we look on the left-hand side. It says, underline the digit you were rounding, so we're rounding to the nearest thousand, because that for all of these, we're rounding to the nearest thousand. Okay, so the nearest thousand is, the four is in the thousands place. <clears throat> Step two, find your boss. That's the number and the place value directly to the right. So the four is now a three, and the three, it, we gotta ask ourselves, is your boss five or more or four or less? If it's five or more, add one more digit that you're rounding. If it's four or less, let it rest. So it's four or less. So we know, all right, so then that's gonna stay a three. Keep the digits before the rounded digit the same. So everything this way is gonna stay the same. And everything this way, it changes to zeros, okay? So these change to zeros, this stays the same, and everything to the left stays the same. All right, so I'm gonna write 1,234,320. All right, no, that's not right, sorry. This should be a zero. Whoopsie daisy. Everything to the right becomes zeros. <laughs> All right, now, let's look at number three. We've got to erase this again, okay? And if you will use this chart on the left-hand side, guys, you will not ever miss 
and, and do exactly as it says you will not ever miss anything. And then after you do these for a while, guess what? You're going to, uh, it'll be second nature to you. You can do it in your sleep. All right, number three, we gotta write this out. 139,997, okay? So, it says again, we round to the thousands place. That nine's in the thousands place. On the left-hand side, underline the digit that you're rounding. We're rounding to the thousands place because that's what it said right here. Step two, find your boss. That's the number in the place right next to the number you're rounding to. Whoops. So now you gotta ask yourself, is my boss five or more? It is five or more because nine is greater than five. Or is it four or less? If it's five or more, add one more to the digit that you're rounding. All right, so that means that this is going to become a zero and I've got to carry uh, the one over. Well, nine actually becomes 10, so a zero goes here, and then a one goes there. And then down here at the bottom, it says keep the digits before the rounded digit the same, so these stay the same. And then change the digits after the rounded digit to zeros, so all these become zeros. So our answer is, Sorry, I had to add one over here. Right here, guys, when I said it becomes 10, it does become 10, but it shouldn't have been one. It's three plus one because the one comes from the 10 space, so that's four. So that it pays to go back and look. See, I've, I've been teaching for 20 years and I'm 46 years old and I still make errors. So you are starting out you know, learning this, so you're definitely gonna catch errors. So don't give yourself, you know, give yourself a break. <clears throat> All right, now we're gonna go back and look at number four, okay? Number four, it says round to the nearest 10,000. So all of these, we're gonna round to the nearest 10,000. This is what we're gonna be rounding to, okay? Now, so I gotta write my number, this number out, 42,039, 42,039, okay? And number one over here says, underline the digit you're rounding. So we're underlining, I already had it underlined, so I'm just gonna point to it, to, to the, to the uh, 10 thousands place. Find your boss, okay? So we gotta look to our boss. That's the, the number in the place value immediately to the right. <clears throat> Step three, ask yourself, is my boss five or more or four or less? Well, two, is four or less. So if it's four or less, let it rest and leave the digit you're rounding to the same, all right? So this two stays the same, all right? And then change the digits after the rounded digit to zeros. So everything to this side becomes a zero. Zero, 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 all right? And then everything to the left it stays the same. So 42,000, that's the nearest 10,000. All right, now we gotta look at, st at number five, okay. Number five. 1,736,400, all Again, we are looking at the 10 thousands place. We gotta round it to the 10 thousands place. So step one, underline the digit you're rounding to. There we go, the three, the 10 thousands place. Find your boss, that's the number to the right. Um, find your boss. So ask yourself, is my boss five or more? If it's five or more, add one more digit to the digit that you're rounding. So it is five or more. So this six is gonna make this three go to four, all right? And then keep the, no, step four, keep the digits before the rounded number the same. So that's a one and a seven. And then after the rounded digit, change everything to zero. So that's, these are all gonna become zeros. So the nearest 10,000 here is one 
million seven hundred forty thousand. Okay, I'm gonna let you try the rest of these on your own. Uh, if you need to meet with me today at any time, um, this let's do. It's gonna have to be between. Uh, I can do nine and between nine and ten and twelve and one thirty. So if you need to meet any time during those times, those are perfect for me as far as having, um, uh, you know, time to go to go back over these. Have a good day. Let me know if you need help.